Have you ever heard of the dugong? The Indian Ocean is home to this gentle marine creature, often known as the sea cow, which is in danger of going extinct. Did you know though, that India has set up dugong reserves to safeguard these amazing creatures? We will explore dugong reserves definition, operation, history, and internal environment in this video. Creating a dugong reserve in India involves a detailed process that aims to conserve and protect the dugongs and their habitat. The first stage is to locate the dugong's current habitats and determine whether it would be feasible to establish a reserve there. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands in India were determined to be suitable for creating dugong reserves due to their large dugong population and the availability of seagrass meadows, which serve as the dugong's main food supply. In order to increase understanding of the value of dugong conservation among local populations and stakeholders, the reserve management also incorporates outreach and education activities such as educational animal reserve trips. The initiatives seek to advance ethical conduct and attitudes that lessen the negative effects of human activity on dugongs and their habitat. The management strategy for an Indian dugong reserve employs a thorough strategy that involves keeping track of the dugong's population and activity, protecting their environment and cooperating with regional groups and stakeholders. All interested parties, including the local people, conservation organizations and the government, must work together and participate in order for the management plan to be successful. Depending on the geography and the availability of suitable areas for setting up reserves, the dugong reserves in India were established in various eras. In 2007, the Gulf of Manar Biosphere Reserve in Tamil Nadu, an important dugong habitat, became the first dugong reserve in India. Dugong reserves were established in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in two stages. Little Andaman Island's first phase, the Dugong Reserve was established in 2009. In 2012, four more reserves, North Reef Island, South Reef Island, Interview Island, and Middle Andaman Island, were established as part of the second phase. An important step in the conservation of this endangered species in India was the construction of Dugong Reserves. It signaled the acceptance of the role played by dugongs in their habitat in preserving the ecosystem's equilibrium. The fascinating marine mammals, known as dugongs, are essential to the survival of seagrass ecosystems. Due to their size, slow movements, and herbivorous diet, they are frequently referred to as sea cows. The only herbivorous marine mammal is the dugong, and seagrass is its main food source, which it consumes in large amounts every day. Up to 40% of these gentle giants' body weight, or about 10% of it, can be consumed each day in the form of seagrass. Dugongs locate seagrass beds with their sensitive snouts and then dig up the seagrass from the sediment using their flexible upper lip. Although they are known to eat a variety of seagrass species, their tastes can change depending on the time of year and the amount of seagrass present in their habitat. Due to their special digestive system, dugongs can digest and extract nutrients from hard, fibrous seagrass. Their stomach is divided into three chambers each of which contains helpful bacteria that aid in the seagrass digestion. They are able to extract all the essential nutrients from their food, including proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, thanks to their unique digestive systems. The primary habitat of dugongs, seagrass meadows, are incredibly significant ecosystems that have numerous ecological advantages. They serve as nurseries and breeding grounds for a variety of fish and invertebrate species, assist in removing pollutants from the water and guard against erosion along the coast. By grazing on the seagrass, dugongs stimulate its growth and keep it from becoming overgrown and smothered by epiphysites and algae. This helps to maintain the health of seagrass ecosystems. Due to their slow breeding habits, dugongs are considered endangered, which is also a result of their reproductive biology. Males mature between the ages of 7 and 10, while females between the ages of 6 and 17. In comparison to other marine mammals, the gestation period for dugongs is about 14 months, which is quite a long time. Females breastfeed their newborns for up to 18 months after giving birth, during which time the calf survives solely on its mother's milk. A single calf can weigh up to 30 kilograms when it's born, which is the norm for dugongs when giving birth. Within minutes of being born, the calf can swim to the surface and take its first breath after being born underwater. For the first few years of its life, the 
calf stays close to its mother and looks for her protection and instruction. The long-term survival of the dugong species depends on the survival of each individual due to their slow reproductive rate and the fact that they only give birth to one calf at a time. To ensure the survival, it is crucial to safeguard their habitats and implement conservation measures. Numerous advantages have resulted from the creation of dugong reserves in India, including raised local community awareness and involvement in conservation efforts. In order to conserve the dugongs and the environment, the reserves have also given a platform for cooperation between various stakeholders like the Forest Department of Andaman and Nicobar, Wildlife Trust of India, and the Indian Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The creation of scientific data on dugongs and their behavior, which is essential for creating successful conservation plans, has also been made possible by the reserves. Depending on the location of the size of the reserve, different dugong populations can be found in India's dugong reserves. The Gulf of Manar Biosphere Reserve in Tamil Nadu is home to 200 to 250 dugongs, based on the most recent estimations. The number of dugongs in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is thought to be around 1,000. It is regarded as a remarkable accomplishment in the protection of this critically endangered species because this is one of the largest dugong populations in the world. The creation of dugong reserves in India has made a substantial contribution to the preservation of this species, which is threatened by human activities including fishing, coastal development and pollution. Dugongs now have a protected area where they can graze and reproduce without being bothered thanks to the reserves. In comparison to other nations in the region, such as Australia and Indonesia, where the population is thought to be in the thousands, the dugong population in India is still quite modest. However, the creation of dugong reserves in India is a step in the right direction for the preservation of this vulnerable species. It is significant to note that the precise number of dugongs in the dugong reserves in India is difficult to quantify due to the species' rarity and the lack of adequate tools for population monitoring. To track the dugong numbers and the activities, however, the conservation organizations in charge of managing the reserves regularly perform surveys. This data is essential for the preservation of this species. In India's dugong reserves, there is a wide variety of intriguing species and the dugongs are essential to maintaining the harmony of the marine ecosystem. Numerous marine organisms such as seagrass, sea turtles, dolphins, and different fish species can be found in the reserves. Dugongs have the ideal feeding grounds in the seagrass meadows of the dugong reserves, and their presence is a sign of health of the marine ecosystem. Three of the seven species of sea turtles can be found in the world nest on the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, making the population of sea turtles there particularly significant. Numerous fish species, which are a vital source of food for both the dugongs and the nearby fishing communities, can be found in the dugong reserves in India. The management of the reserves aims to ensure ethical fishing methods that don't endanger dugongs or their habitat. The local populations that live close to the dugong reserves are crucial to the conservation efforts. They are encouraged to adopt sustainable fishing methods and take part in the monitoring of the dugongs and their environment. Additionally, the reserves offer chances for ecotourism, which is a significant source of income for the nearby communities. The dugong reserves in India are accessible to tourists, but there are strong rules in place to guarantee the safety of the dugongs and their natural habitat. While giving tourists the chance to see these magnificent animals in their natural habitat, tourism activities are managed to have the least possible negative effects on dugongs and their environment. Visitors can go snorkeling, scuba diving, or take a boat cruise to the dugong reserves to see the animals up close. The tours are typically led by knowledgeable locals with deep knowledge of the marine habitat and dugong behavior. What are your thoughts on these fascinating creatures? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more jaw-dropping content like this.